tides chain or love at chain or love dot com. I have this <laughs> um, inspiration again to make so many videos while I just got home, and I've been watching this. Um, a friend of mine in our Facebook group uh, going through marketing strategy training. Basically, she's uh, in the network marketing industry promoting uh, her video service. So it's uh, basically you distribute the service of making videos. And since a lot of home-based businesses, <coughs> and not home-based businesses, but small business owners are uh, trying to promote their products. And I didn't even think about it, but since I looked, so she, anyway, she went to the event where all the local small business owners promote their things. For example, I saw jewelry, I saw candles, I saw lotions, I saw, um, I saw something else. Uh, I saw Mary Kay people, I saw scarves. Basically, when you go to the market and you buy stuff that is locally produced, so, and it, it said, well, so, support our local small business owners and buy from them locally instead of getting products from China. And then I got to thinking, well, she's, it's a good, it's a good opportunity to go there and talk to the people who are trying to promote the things. And basically because she learned so much strategy, how to promote with video, with her network marketing product, uh, video service and she learned through the uh, marketing system all the training how to do uh, promotions and uh, basically she did a video for them all of them and then each person she took a picture and she put their email address how to contact them a picture if people were interested in their products they would contact them directly but basically behind the scenes she offered value to the people that are trying to promote their things and on the back end, she might offer them the network marketing, the video marketing strategy because it's a vehicle basically to uh, get a lot of leverage and be more successful than just promoting their own things um, by themselves. So that's what I don't get. People are, uh, for example, stay-at-home moms or whatever, it's a, their hobby and they want to earn extra income. So they go, they need... Uh, for example, their socks or scarves, or they do uh, potty, uh, pottery, or they do jewelry, handmade jewelry, or whatever they do, they try to sell it to promote and make a living out of it. But then you're working by yourself, you don't have. I'm just comparing, people are so negative about network marketing. They sell well. I cannot sell. I cannot do that, that, that. But then you, they decide to go and they try to sell their handmade scarves, and they don't understand why. I mean, if they just sold a different product through the bigger distribution channel, they would have more leverage, and they would be basically using the same skills, selling skills. They would be working with people but they would be in a group of people trying to get the same thing, not just by themselves. And they pride themselves when they are just doing their own thing, but when it's a group of people, when it's a network, then it's a bad reputation. And I don't understand that concept. So I wanted to make this video before I forget that. To people for for people to open up, I mean it's I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, uh, thank you, Jane at Jane Orloff.com.